What's up, everybody? Happy Raider Sunday to you. Now, for this video, I'm not going to get into a, a lot of analysis. I'm going to get into a pet peeve I have. Because I'm really, really irked. It's, you, you, you go on social media and you see the whole um, Raider play, uh, Chiefs players getting mad about us circling the stadium for our victory lap, right? And I'm saying to myself, you tricks just won the Super Bowl. Why y'all worried about us rolling around your stadium when we haven't won there in, since... Jesus, I don't remember the last time. Wait, no, 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 I do remember the last time we beat the um the Chiefs. The last time I actually remember, I don't know if it's the last official time, but it was with uh, Khalil Mack and uh, C.O. Moore. Um, they were on that team. And uh, Charles Woodson was on that team too. And we won, I believe it was a rainy night in uh, in Oakland. And it was a Sunday night, and it was I think it was our first win of the season because we were like 0-8, 0-9, something like that. That's the last time I remember us beating the Chiefs. I could be wrong, but that's the last time I, I, I remember us beating the Chiefs. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, y'all been running the AFC West for like the last four years. Y'all won a Super Bowl last year. And y'all mad about one game that y'all lost? One game? This is why this right here, this right here, this is why Raider fans just can't get along with Chiefs fans because of this right here. And you know what? I'm glad that they mad about the whole situation. I'm happy because you know what? I'm still mad about the whole situation. The post-game Super Bowl press conference. I don't know if any of you guys in the Raider Nation and the Chiefs Kingdom Remember this, but it was uh, right after they won the Super Bowl against the 49ers, and they're talking about, oh, man, <laughs> this this going to be the first of many. <laughs> and Andy Reid, he's chuckling. He's like, yeah, man, this, this is really good. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting here the whole time watching this, and I get it. You know, they just come back from 20-plus points down in the fourth quarter. I'd I, I, I be feeling a little cocky, too. I'd be feeling a little, you know, confident. You did, you did the whole thing, and you actually – it came back three different times in the playoffs. You had a hell of a run. I give you all full marks. The double salute. Let me hit you with a double salute. But at the same time, y'all going to sit here and act like the Raiders aren't in the AFC West coming for your neck? The level of disrespect from the Chiefs is next level. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy that we went to your house. Gave you your first L. Gave you your first interception, Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs. And I'm hoping, oh, for the love of God, for the love of God, y'all, it better be a walkthrough for all you Chiefs. It better be a walkthrough because if this game is close or if we win, y'all don't notice. It's our time. The AFC West is ours. We running it. Y'all step in the back. We in the front. The lights are on us and we going to the Super Bowl. And it don't even matter if we lose to y'all tricks. Because guess what? Super Bowl! We out here. And I lied to y'all. I said I wasn't going to do any analysis in this game. But guess what? I said in the beginning of the season, give Paul Gunther a little bit of leeway. Because he's had some bad exits. He's had some bad showings. But it's going to take around week 8 to week 10 for um, the defense to really show up and start making plays and being solidified. And you're seeing that. You're seeing that. Interceptions. We're getting fumbles. We're getting finally getting sacks. And I know it's a big thing with a bunch of players on COVID. Actually, no, LaMarcus Joyner is uh, back on COVID-19. But the several other players who who um, who were on the COVID-19 list earlier in the season, earlier in the week, um, they're off the uh, the COVID list. And I was not going to lie, I was a little nervous. Like half the defensive starters are on the COVID list. How are we supposed to even compete? But you know what? Half of them are off. And even, and even if they weren't on the activated off the COVID-19 list, we still giving the Chiefs the smoke because I'm so activated right now. So activated. Y'all going to sit here at Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Hmm. I saw the interview you said, how you were a little miffed about our little routine. But you know what takes the cake, though? Is a social media of the per whoever's running the account for the social media for uh, the Chiefs. Who I'm happy you I'm happy you irked because I know everybody in the nation saw that whole that whole tweet where he's talking about we let our 
we let our play do the talking and have one of the, the Chiefs defensive backs getting an interception. I'm like, oh, you mad, bro? How are you mad? You already got the damn Super Bowl ring. But that's okay. You be mad because we went in your house. We turned on your lights, went in your fridge, ate your leftovers, drank your favorite beer, and told your wife, your grandmama, why are the food, why is the food terrible, and why are the cookies so damn dry? We went to your house and did that. And you gonna come to our house, and we gonna come open the door, welcome you right in, give you the table, give you the knife, give you the fork, give you the spoon, give you the nice wine glass. And we're going to slap you right in the face and say, you don't get no meals over here. Nothing. All you get is two slaps, one from the front and one from the back. That's all you get for four quarters because we coming for that neck. And this is our time. Y'all time was last year. Y'all did good. It was cute. Imagine that wasn't even cute. It was real smooth. Y'all did some dirt last year. But this year, we running the show. Raiders, Super Bowl champions. I'm already calling it. I've called it at the beginning. I'm calling it again. And it's going to be a competitive game. It's going to be a competitive game. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the Chiefs and Raiders, you already know where I'm going. That's it. I can see it being 41-38. I see it being an offensive shootout. 41-38, Derek Carr takes that next level. But I feel that's going to be a balanced game, though, in terms of us, how we attack them. And that's really the strong suit of our, our team, that we balance. We're so balanced. We can give you those quick strike plays or we can run it down your throat. And quick sidebar before I sign off. I will go on record as saying this. I knew Nelson Aguilar, big play Nelly, was the truth. I, I told everybody, all my friends especially, watch out for big play Nelson. Because he wasn't healthy last year in Philadelphia. This year he's healthy. But I will say this. The biggest shock is Devontae Freeman. Because I, I saw, we, oh yeah, we picked him up. I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Didn't think he was going to be this big of a factor. Whoo! That man is legit. That man is on pace. And then we got Jalen Richard doing dirt too. My, big, my hope for this game especially, I hope Foster Moreau shows up. I do like Jason Wynn. Don't get me wrong. But I'm looking for Foster Moreau to show up because he can be that uh that that secret weapon that we had. And I really thought he was gonna develop into that before his knee injury, but I I like the way they're pacing him. Just bring him back slow. Bring him back slow. But I like Foster Moreau in this game. I don't know why. It's got a feeling on it. Uh, a lot of people were down on Henry Ruggs, especially with uh Tony Jefferson, who I really wanted. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted him. And a lot of people are looking at CD Lamb and see how he does dirt and all this, but I'm sitting there saying Bro, we six and three. We're undefeated in the AFC West. And Henry Ruggs sitting there saying, I just want to win. What more do you want in these streets? <laughs> we should be happy to be four and twelve, because that's what we've been experiencing for the last decade plus. So for me, we six and three. The ball's being spread around. Derek Carr is being smart with the ball. And actually, oh my God. The best part of the evolution of Derek Carr that I'm seeing right now is the fact that this dude is learning how his pocket awareness. He's learning when to say, hey, let me let me buy time to see another receiver. But more importantly, I'm buying enough time. Oh, I got to run and using his legs because that's been the extra dimension that the next quarterbacks who are running the NBA, who are running the NFL right now. That's one of the things that they do best. Patrick Mahomes, so many times he kills people because he he buys times and all of a sudden, wait, he buys time and like, wait, oh, we can run. Holy smokes, that's a 15 yard run. Now Derek Carr is finally starting to do that. And that's a function of him finally being healthy, the back, the leg, the offensive system. He's comfortable now. This is, year, this is that year where Derek Carr comes back and we pronounce his name as Dedek. Not David, Dedek. Salute you, Derek. So, as I said, Super Bowl, we out here. You stay mad, Chiefs, because dinner's going to be cold. Ain't no sweet invitation in Las Vegas. We coming for that neck.